Hey guys, Jose here with another Arnold tutorial. Um, in this particular uh, video, we're going to see how to remove noise. If you've ever tried rendering with Arnold, you'll quickly notice that one of the, the most challenging aspects of uh, Arnold's rendering is uh, noise reduction. And when it comes to noise reduction with Arnold, the secret is really about understanding where the noise is coming from. Uh, so there's uh, lots of different sources of noise in a render. Um, and so we're going to identify three sources of noise and see how to solve those. I would say three of the most common sources of noise. I have this uh, blog post uh, shown here from the area. Uh, this is a really great comprehensive overview of all the different types of noise that you can encounter in a rendering with Arnold. Uh, this was done by Lee Griggs, so if you want to get a really deep understanding of uh, noise uh, and all the f different sources of noise, this is a really, really great resource, and this is what I learned a lot from. Uh, so let's jump right into the actual tutorial. All right, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, we're going to be looking at how to solve specific areas of noise, in our case, three. And those three cases of noise that we're going to solve are um, direct lighting noise, indirect lighting noise, and specular noise. And one of the techniques that I like to use in order to determine what type of noise uh, you see in a render is to use render elements, or as Arnold calls them, AOVs. Um, so let's go ahead and add the appropriate AOVs uh, to our scene so that we can uh, look at them and see if there's any noise on them. So we're going to grab a diffuse direct, diffuse indirect. This is basically your direct lighting and your indirect lighting um, extracted as a, as a render pass. And uh, later on, we're going to take a look at the specular. So if I render these out, you see that I have my RGB, which is my beauty, and I also have my diffuse direct, which is my direct lighting only, and my indirect uh, illumination as well, separated into these three passes. So for my diffuse direct pass, you see that it's extremely grainy. Um, and the only source of direct illumination that this scene has right now is my sky dome. Um, and if you take an Arnold light, you'll notice that you always have a samples uh, spinner here. So if you determine or you detect in one of these passes that um, there is noise in your direct uh, diffuse pass, your uh, Arnold lights uh, are the ones you need to increase the sampling on in order to remove uh, diffuse direct noise. So we're going to bump this up to 8 uh, from 1. Notice that it's already a lot cleaner. Um, and we bump this up to 16, which is the maximum, you get rid of all the noise completely on direct illumination of this particular light source. All right, again, this is a really great way to sort of debug noise, if you will. You don't have to use the AOVs, they're not necessary, they're just, I'm using them for debugging purposes, basically. Um, and if we now switch over to our indirect pass, you see that it's obviously still noisy. We haven't done anything to address um, indirect noise. And the really great thing about understanding where the noise is coming from is because you can dial in sampling just for those problematic uh, components of your render. If you don't know where the noise is coming from, it's kind of like a shot in the dark. Uh, you can tweak values, sampling values all day long. You might get rid of your noise, but your render out times are going to go through the roof. So this is a way to get rid of noise and still control your render times. Uh, so to get rid of indirect illumination, this happens in the render uh, settings dialog. Uh, so if you go to Arnold Rendering, you see that we have some sampling values here. Um, you have diffuse, specular, and transmission. This is your indirect uh, lighting right here. Your diffuse sampling here is your indirect lighting. Uh, so we can go ahead and um, increase this value from 2 to 4. And now we um, are going to get a much cleaner image. And you can keep increasing this value until your indirect illumination pass is completely clean. Then we know that all of my global illumination, if you will, is not noisy. Or the noise that I'm seeing is not coming from global illumination or indirect illumination. Um, we also have a ray depth spinner. I'm going to take a quick moment to talk about this real quick. Uh, this is how uh, how long the ray traverses your scene, basically, uh, to light up your scene. So at a value of 1, it's it, it dies after it hits one surface. But if you increase this value, your light rays will continue traversing your scene and therefore adding a little bit of illumination to the darker areas of your scene. Um, and so if you have, like me, this interior space, it really starts to help if you increase that value a little bit. Um, so you notice that I bumped it up from 1 to 2, and this, these darker areas where the fl wall meets the floor are a little bit brighter. And if I bring it up to, to, to 3, create a clone of my render frame window so that we can compare, you see again, it's yet again a little bit brighter than before. 
right? So this is a really great way to add illumination without necessarily adding light sources. And if we bring back our RGBA, we, uh, we have a cleaner image. All right, the last form of noise that we're going to be addressing is specular noise or reflection noise. Um, and in order to see reflections, of course, you need your shaders. And so I brought back all my materials in this version of the scene. So we see uh, that noise and then we see how to get rid of it. So let's go ahead and just uh, launch up the render. And you'll notice that I have uh, quite a noisy scene here. And I've pre-populated my AOVs with a specular direct and specular indirect pass. So if I switch to my specular indirect pass, uh, I'm just seeing my indirect reflections. And notice how noisy this is. Um, and so this is what we're going to address. In order to uh, get rid of this noise, this happens also in the render settings window. Notice bef now before we talked about uh, diffuse indirect, but we also have specular indirect, and it's set to two. So I bump this guy up to six and re-render. Re and again, the value is is uh, you know based on your scene setting, so it might not be six for you. For me, six is a good number to get rid of my specular noise. Notice how much cleaner my reflections are. Right, so combining noise reduction of you know specular noise and diffuse direct and diffuse indirect are three really great ways to um, to uh, overall remove noise of your uh, of your renders.